All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akakwadash, Bracket the Yahweh, Bracket the Yahweh Shai. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of his beloved Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's the true names in the last one, the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and blessings and citations to the hopeful elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. And, uh, I think I'm going to have this one as the various topics. You know, it's going to go in the spirit. I just want to go through this article real quick that a brother had posted. Okay. And it's from uh, mostimportantnews.com. Okay. The title of the article, as you can see, is Are they purposely trying to make the streets of America abnormally violent in the summer of 2021? Okay. Which 2021 has been coined, you know, by the apostle through the, through the spirit of uh, spirit of poverty. How about Shemal Shai? The year of hastening and the coming of uh, Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Okay. So it says, have you noticed that the corporate media has been repeatedly using the word violent to describe what the summer of 2021 is going to be like? Okay. And this is how Esau, you know, he this is how he uses witchcraft. Okay. He also uses uh, predictive programming. Okay. To influence the minds of the masses. Okay. So it says, have you noticed that the corporate media has been repeatedly using the word violent to describe what the summer of 2021 is going to be like? Many Americans believe that once Joe Biden was in the White House, that all of the civil unrest that we have been witnessing would magically disappear and that violent crime rates, crime rates would go back to normal. OK, it says, of course, neither of those things has happened. Okay, and if you watch uh, a documentary on uh, Netflix, it's called Crack, I believe. I haven't watched it in a minute, but um, you would see that uh, with each president, okay, uh, uh, you know, things get more harsh, okay? Things get, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Things are taken to the next level, man. So just like the article says, you know, they thought, especially our people, our people being the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay, Esau put a fast one on our people mainly, you know, had them go out there and vote, which the vote doesn't matter. But majority of our people thought, you know, once they get Donald Trump out of there and put Joe Biden in there, that everything will, <laughs> will go back to uh, so-called normal. All right? Not knowing that there's a new normal, okay? Where we're, hey, these elites are going for their new world order, man. And it's evident and plain to see if you have eyes to see it, man. OK, and Joe Biden is, is, is more of a devil than Trump. Trump was, man. OK. <clears throat> it says many Americans believe that once Joe Biden was in the White House, that all of the civil unrest that we have been witnessing would magically disappear and that violent crime rates would go back to normal. Of course, neither of those things has happened. It says. We continue to see civil unrest erupt in major U.S. cities such as Portland, and murder rates are even higher in 2021 than they were in 2020. This is a fact that was highlighted in a recent Axios article entitled, It's Set to Be a Hot, Violent Summer. Okay, because these devils, they believe in order out of chaos, order out of chaos. Okay, uh, problem, reaction, solution. They get, they create a problem. They come with a reaction, and they, and they, and they, uh, I mean, they come with a problem. They get a reaction out of the people, and they come with a solution. And we know ultimately, their solution to the chaos that's soon to be uh, ensued, especially here in America, is going to be that RFID chip, man, which is the mark of the beast, written of in Revelation the 13th chapter, the 14th chapter. Okay. So this is what they want. Okay. This is what they want. This They know how to channel. They have mastered channeling the people's energy, man. Okay? It says a sample of 37 cities with data available for the first three months of 2021 collected by the crime analyst Jeff Asher indicates murders are up 18% over the same period in 2020. The continued increase comes after a year in which the major U.S. cities experienced a 33 33% rise in homicides and 63 of the 66 largest police 
jurisdiction saw an increase in at least one category of violent crime, according to a report from the major cities uh, chiefs association. In this instance, Exois is right on the money. Murder rates were way up. I mean, so like, were way, way up over all the nation last year. And this year, murder rates are shooting even higher. Okay, hey, people are desperate. You know, hey, things are not working in the people's favor. Okay, a lot of people are out of jobs. So a lot of people are idle, man. Okay, a lot of people are idle. And of course, crime is going up because the people don't have an income. It says, it is also true that we tend to see a spike in violence over the summer. And one expert that was interviewed by Axos is warning that the upcoming summer will be abnormally violent. Okay, and this always makes me think of <clears throat> um, Stranger Things, okay? Stranger Things 3, which I believe was uh, the summer of 2019, okay? Because I remember seeing this billboard when I was working, uh, Grubhub, okay, that summer. And this, this billboard was all over uh, on Sunset, okay, which is a major uh, boulevard out here in uh, Southern California. Okay, it was all in Beverly Hills and all of that. All right. So when it was pushing it, this was the uh, the phrase that it came with. So like it, it says, one summer can change everything. Okay. One summer can change everything. And that's what you call, um, uh, oh, man, I forget the word, man. Let's start with an S. Subliminals, Okay. Esau is always coming with them subliminals because he has an agenda. So one summer can change everything. And this is what I thought about, or this is what I've been thinking about all year as we approach uh, the summer, okay? So one, one summer could change everything, okay? And us that are hastening in the day, and we hope that it, it pops off, you know? We hope that, you know, uh, uh, chaos ensues, all right? Because that's all prophecy. Okay, so you see how everything is opening back up here in uh, SoCal. Everything has been opening back up. People think that they're in a good case, you know, which let me get uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 1. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay, for when they shall say peace and safety. All right, that's the spirit out here. Everybody think they're in a good case. Everybody think, uh, uh, you know, the scandemic and and everything is is, is 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 gone. Okay, they think they're about to enjoy their concerts and their sports and all of this again. All right, but when they shall say peace and safety, they're saying the numbers of the uh, C19 is going down. All right, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they should not escape. So we know, ultimately, us that, that are uh, that are following the prophecies, us that are waiting on the Lord, okay, that are watching, we know that something's going to hit randomly, man, which it ain't going to be random. It's, it's already set up, all right? The Lord is going to cause this man to do something major out here, man, okay? The, these people are already, uh, I think it's over 200 uh, million of the U.S. population I have, have received that jab, okay? And you had one woman in Florida that was uh, uh, that had a, a Uber driver in the headlock, all right, biting on him, okay? And then when she was arrested, she had no memory of it, man. Okay, so, hey, hey, it, it could be a black summer if you ever watched that, uh, that series on Netflix, okay? It could be a black summer out here to, uh, this summer, man. So we're just waiting and we're watching, and we're going to see what the Lord has planned. Okay, so it says, but when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay, so we're hoping that, hey, this is the summer. Okay, Lord's will. So going back to the article, it says, summer 2021 is going to be abnormally violent. John Roman, a senior fellow at the Economics, Justice, and Society Group at NORC, N-O-R-C, at the University of Chicago wrote this year, it is the new normal, you see? There is that word violent again, okay? And you go to Psalms of 140 and 1, it explains to you 
uh, preserve, oh Lord, preserve me from the evil man, preserve me from the violent man. All right, so this man Esau Edom is the violent man. Okay, he's all about violence. The thief cometh not but to kill, steal, and destroy. Okay, and he has, uh, you know, he has uh, deceived our people into thinking that he ain't he ain't that violent man. Although violence is all he shows. Okay, and they're really gonna learn when the Lord allows him to come down with that great wrath. Oh, because uh, okay, because that's prophecy as well. Okay. We're in those times, man. We're, in a, we're, we're entering into those times of Jacob's trouble. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, and we know that that devil is speaking of a man that's here on the earth, a certain race of people, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And this is why we see this man moving fast, Okay. We see him moving towards his, uh, 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 what, what Eminem say on that, uh, Lose Yourself song. He said, uh, we're moving towards a new world order, okay? Normal life is boring, okay? So they're, they're moving towards that, that, uh, that, uh, NWO, man, okay? So he's about to come down with that great rap. It's just, we're just one false flag away from it, man. So it says, there is that word violent again. It is almost as if they are trying to mentally condition condition us for something. And of course, this man is a is, is a man of uh, sorcery, man, witchcraft. That's how he gets down. He doesn't do nothing directly. It says, once you are alert to it, you will start noticing the corporate media using it constantly, constantly. Okay, and we see this man move. Every every move he makes, we see it. Why? Because we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Okay. The scriptures say he would not, if it were possible, he would, uh, if, it, if it were possible, meaning it's not possible, he would deceive the very elect, okay? Because once you understand who this man is, man, he can't, he can't pull the wool over your eyes, man, all right? He's trying to be a sheep in wolf's, he's trying to be a wolf in sheep's clothing, but we, we can see, we can see his whole, you know, we can see him, all right? Us that, that have been blessed to see, all right? So it says... And actually, this is one point in which I am in full agreement with the corporate media. There will be tremendous violence during the summer of 2021, and certain decisions that our political leaders are now making will contribute to that violence. For example, it was just announced that 76,000 inmates could soon be permanently, re permanently released in California, and we are being told that 63,000 of those inmates have actually been convicted of violent crimes. California is set to release at least 63,000 inmates convicted of violent crimes in an effort to create safer prisons. Okay, and that's not by, no, that ain't no coincidence that they're uh, considering releasing these uh, thousands and thousands of uh, inmates, man, which are a majority of jakes, I'm sure. Okay. And they, they're going to come out. They're not going to have nothing to do. They're not going to have, they're not going to be able to operate in this in this in this world ain't nothing out here for jake man all right it says yes the prisons will most definitely be safer and all of those criminals are if all of those criminals are released but the mean streets of california will become even more dangerous i have no idea why california governor gavin newsom would do such a thing releasing tens of thousands of violent criminals just in time for the summer is incredibly incredibly foolish and he is being strongly criticized by Republicans for choosing to do so. Okay, and uh, the governor ain't nobody, man. He ain't, he ain't controlling nothing. Okay, he's just a puppet. Okay, he's just a face. All right? Uh, let me see, man. Let me jump down here. It says, murder rates in California are already threatening to spiral out of control. As Governor, as governor Newsom... Purposely trying to make these things even worse? Yes, the least of the society you are, man. All right, it says on a national level, it has been announced that there are no plans to bring the federal inmates that were released during the C-19 pandemic back to prison. Okay, of course not, man. Why? Because order out of chaos, man. This is how they get down. All right, and it goes on about the inmates.
All right. It goes on about the elite buying up uh, real estate. And then it goes into, you know, it goes into that, man. But that's the gist of it, man. Okay. This is what they're, this is what they want. And we're hoping that this is it. Are they purposely trying to make the streets of America abnormally violent in the summer of 2021? And you can see that with uh, all the killings of uh, uh, of these jakes out here, man, trying to rouse up uh, uh, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans so they can be justified in, 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 uh, in smashing you, man. Okay, which ultimately goes back to the scriptures. All right, the Lord is going to allow this man to uh, take out a big chunk of, of our people. But guess what? It's the wicked of our people. All right, because Yahweh by Shema Shai, he sent he sent out his prophets. He's been he's been speaking. He's had his hand out this whole time. Okay. This guy doing. It's a lot. It's a lot, bro. But yeah, the Lord has been speaking. The scripture say all the day long. Uh, uh, has he stretched out his hand? To a rebellious and a gainsaying people. So our people can't say the Lord is not merciful. And like the Lord says, it's gonna be like the days of Noah. Alright, these things are gonna hit at random. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get that. Okay. It's uh, Luke 17 and 26. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage. Okay, and that's what you see in this society, man. Everybody's doing what they do. You know, caught up in folly, caught up in wickedness. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of the out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and even, I mean, and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Okay, so once the elect is sealed, that's it. The Lord is going gonna, is gonna, to uh, allow the destruction to, to come. You know, the Lord is going to allow the chaos to ensue. So let's let's end it off with Second uh, Edges 15 to 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. All right, and you Christians have no idea that this is even written in the Bible. You think it's joy to the world? No, the scriptures say woe to the world. And the word the word woe means destruction. Okay, so this is the spirit. Uh, uh, this is what's written. All right, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right? The Lord said he's going to set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. The love of many shall wax cold. All right? And the modern-day sword is the gun. Okay? And you already uh, uh, seen Joe Biden say that he's going to come for all the guns, man. And, and you think he's going to succeed with that? Hell no. Nah. Violence... All right, chaos is going to break out in the streets. So it says, For the sword and the destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. But there shall be sedition among men, which sedition is the insurrection, okay? And invading one another. People are going to be breaking into each other's houses, okay? They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their own power. They're not going to give a damn with your local... Mayor got got to say your, your your governor has got to say your police uh uh uh, uh your police got to say people are gonna be doing what the hell they want man all right it's gonna be a bunch of people getting gunned down a bunch of dead bodies in the streets there's gonna be a foul odor in the air you just got to picture it man burning buildings okay people are gonna be searching for food as it's gonna say it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able and what is that that's that's martial law man. All right, which Esau always displays in his movies, checkpoints and all of that. You ain't going to be able to go nowhere, man. 
where you at is where you're going to be at, man. It's where you're going to die, you know, except you're, except if you're of the hopeful elect, man, okay, because we got angels about us, and we believe that Yahweh Shem outside is going to deliver us, man. He said he will keep us in the hour of temptation, all right? It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and you you, you damn Americans are, are, are the most proud, man, on the earth, okay? You think you're invincible, you think you're unstoppable. And with the Lord, the, hey, the Lord's going to accept your challenge, okay? <laughs> All right? And you Jakes that want to trust in this man and his society, he's subscribed to his ways. And the Lord going to allow your enemy, your best friend, to come down upon you, man. He's going to show his horns, man. He's going to show you that he is Esau Edom, that red horse, all right? And that he has that that, that sword, man, okay? It says, for the, for the the because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay? You all you tough guys out here, man. All you gang banging ass niggas. Hey, you're gonna be afraid in that day, man. Okay? Your own your your tightest homeboy is gonna is gonna y'all gonna be enemies, man. Okay? Esau Edom is gonna come down, man. Alright, it's gonna come down. And your little nine and all that, they ain't gonna be able to they ain't gonna be able to do shit. Alright? So it says, and it said, men shall be afraid. So what's the, what state are you women going to be in? In my humble opinion, you women got it the worst. Okay? You got it the worst. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. No mercy, man. It's going to be a merciless spirit out here, man. The love of many shall wax cold. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. And for great tribulation, okay. So that's what's coming. Famine's coming. You already, you already, uh, uh they already, uh, uh, they pumped uh, uh, trillions of dollars into this damn, uh, 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 economy, which is devalued the dollar. All right, that's why gas is so damn high, okay. And Beverly Hills is six dollars, man. Okay, so what you think, uh, uh, food is gonna cost? You know, that could hit this summer, okay. So that's gonna, that's gonna drive people crazy. And, and they ain't going to be asking for nothing. They're going to be taking it, man. Especially the, 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 the poor, our people, man. So, you know, we're hoping that, uh, you know, we're hoping that this is the year, man. You know? But if it's not, hey, Lord's will next year, man. So we're going to keep watching and keep hasting. So Lord's will is edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodesh. So next time, Shalom.